Hi, welcome back. So today I'd like to do something different. I actually want to start a series of readings for all the zodiac signs, but I think I'll probably only start that next month. Um, it will be general readings for all the signs. So obviously sun, moon and rising signs will apply. And it will just be a general past, present, future reading to see what, what will come up. In the month. So for today I'm just going to do a general energy update for all the earth signs. I'll be doing for, for all the elements. Earth, air, fire and water. So I'm just starting with earth because I'm an earth sign and I just recently had a birthday. So I just want to see what the energy update is. What the current situation is for the earth sign people. So, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, take it as it resonates, leave whatever doesn't resonate. It will be a very general reading, and it's just a check-in, just to see how you guys are all doing, what could be coming up for you. It's not necessarily like a love reading or anything like that. I did say that it's a general reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Sun, Moon and Rising. If I feel like it's a love situation or that the theme is love, then I will say so. I'm just pulling nine cards. It's more like, I wouldn't say past, present, future as such, but it's like the, the past energy the present energy the energy going into june okay so like i said it is very general and it's very broad it is not gender specific at all just take what resonates please okay so at the bottom of the deck we do have the sun so I feel like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you've been working on yourselves a lot. You've been trying to find inner happiness. You've been looking for happiness, trying to do things that make you happy, bring you joy. <clears throat> right, so let's just see what the overall reading says and then I'll, I'll relate it to the sun. But the overall theme is you're trying to, to find happiness trying to focus more on yourself. So in the recent past, you may have been dealing with someone who was cheating. So this doesn't have to mean in a love situation necessarily. It could just be someone who's very boastful, someone who likes showing off. There could have been some infidelity that you, you've been dealing with or you had been dealing with in the recent past. But it could also literally mean cheating. So I feel like some of you could have been in a relationship and you found out that your significant other was cheating on you. If that is you, I'm so sorry. Gosh, some heavy energy here, I must say. We have Six of Swords, which is literally the journey card. So it is. it comes after this card. So some of you could have had a disappointment in love and then decided to leave the situation, to walk away. But it wasn't an easy decision to make. It did bring you sadness, the Five of Cups, but I feel like because it's in reverse, it's like you're moving out of that sad energy. You realize that this situation was not bringing you happiness. It was not fulfilling you anymore, which is why we have the Sun card as the overall theme. It's like, you didn't find your happiness with that person. Maybe they were your happiness at some point, but as time went by, you found out that they were not actually bringing you happiness anymore. In your present energy, you have nine of pentacles reversed. So perhaps a lot of you are not satisfied with where you are in life. You feel like you should have achieved more. You should have gone further. You should have, um, I don't know how to put it, like you set goals for yourself and you feel like less of a person because those goals haven't been achieved yet. But don't despair because 
the the world is really crazy at the moment all right so whatever goals you set for yourself don't don't think too far ahead into the future that's all i can tell you because the future is not guaranteed okay the day of tomorrow is not guaranteed i want to say focus on your present be grateful for what you have in the present moment i do see the devil next to the nine of pentacles that was reversed but the devil's in that pride so i'm not sure if a lot of you were dealing with a toxic situation or perhaps you found out someone was cheating and like that journey card was not a permanent thing it was like gosh we have to take a break although i don't see like four of swords here because that normally indicates that you want to take a break from something but I'm feeling like even in your present moment, a lot of you are dealing with some or other toxic situation. It could be an abusive relationship. It could be an addiction problem. It could be something unhealthy, like just codependency. You will know how this applies to your life, to your current situation. Because like I said, it could be a relationship. It could not. It could be a toxic work environment. We have three of ones. It was in reverse. So it's like you are looking out into the distance, waiting for something better to come along. And it's not coming in as quickly as you'd hoped. So you're keeping your options open. I don't know if this could actually be a lot of you, actually. Some of you could have been cheated on. Some of you could be cheating. As weird as it sounds. Okay, I don't know, something to do with travel, like this, it doesn't need to mean that you left the situation, I'm just thinking now it could mean that someone you know has been having an affair related to travel, like your partner travels a lot for work, maybe they were unfaithful to you, something along those lines is what I'm picking up, but it's more of a past energy, okay, this is more the present. So it's like you're waiting, waiting, waiting for something better to come in for you. Waiting for things to change, but it's not coming as quickly as you'd hoped. In the near future, you do have the King of Wands, which is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Sagittarius. Um, it doesn't need to be. It could just be a person who's very passionate, very, um, very strong. Someone who actually goes through with things. Someone who's not a dreamer. Someone who puts things into action. Someone who takes action. I don't know if that's your energy going into the future. You're tired of waiting. You don't just want to hang around and wait forever. You want to take action. You want to do things. You want to get things done. But it's causing you a lot of anxiety with the Nine of Swords. Because you're feeling like the hanged man. It was in reverse though. So you're tired of this stuck energy. You don't want to be in this stuck limbo anymore. You're wanting things to change, but I feel like there's confusion around how, how to go about bringing the necessary change into your life. Well, I feel heavy just talking about this because like I said, I am an earth sign. And this resonates heavily with me in some ways. Like I did say, it won't resonate with everyone. But overall, like I said, you do have the sun. So I feel like what this reading is telling you is to find your own happiness. Don't look for happiness in other people. Don't rely on other people to make you happy because your happiness is your responsibility and no one else's ultimately. Okay, I hope this reading resonated with at least a handful of you guys. And like I said, from next month, I will be doing readings for all the different signs. So please watch that as soon as, as they, they post it. And thanks again to all my new subscribers. And thanks for all the new views and likes and comments. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.